हेलो माय डियर फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर वसीम आय खान असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर श्री शिवाजी लॉ कॉलेज परभनी महाराष्ट्र इंडिया सो इन टुडेज लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस द कंसेप्ट ऑफ नेग्लिजेंस एंड पर्टिकुलरली वी विल डिस्कस द इसेंशियल्स ऑफ नेग्लिजेंस इन अ टॉट सो लेट स्टार्ट द टॉपिक essentials of tort of negligence uh, we will discuss in this lecture first of all we will discuss the introduction negligence consists of neglect to use of ordinary care or skill towards a person to whom the defendant owes the duty of observing ordinary care and skill by which neglect the person has suffered injury to his person or property it means if the person is having a duty to take a ordinary care or skill towards a person but if that particular person fails to take care and if it results damage to someone else then it means the person has committed a tort of negligence that is the tort of negligence in everyday usage the word negligence denotes mere carelessness in day to day life we used to say that you are very negligent so in day to day life negligence means mere carelessness if we are doing any work not in a proper way the people may call us as careless as negligent but in legal sense it signifies failure to exercise the standard of care which the doer as a reasonable man should have exercised in the circumstances but in the legal sense negligence signifies a failure to exercise a certain standard of care which the doer as a reasonable man should have exercised in the circumstances suppose being a reasonable man if certain kind of care is expected from someone else and if the care is not taken by that particular person it is called as a negligence in legal sense now we will turn towards the meaning of negligence the term negligence means where a person has a duty to take care and the care is not taken resulting in injury to another person so whenever the person is having a duty to take care but due to the carelessness of that particular person due to the failure of duty to take care if someone else has sustained a certain kind of injury it means the tort of negligence has been occurred in other words infliction of an injury or damage as a result of failure to take care is called a negligence any kind of injury sustained to any person and the result of that injury is failure to take care that is called a negligence i am having a duty to take care if i fails to take care it results a certain kind of injury to you i may be held liable for the tort of negligence that is the meaning of negligence now we will move towards the definition of negligence winfield defined the term negligence negligence as the breach of a legal duty to take care which result in damage undesired by the defendant to the plaintiff sometimes the negligence is a breach of legal duty the duty which is defined by the law if that duty has been breached and the duty to take care has been violated winfield defines the tort of negligence negligence as the breach of a legal duty to take care which result in damage undesired by the defendant to the plaintiff negligence is nothing but a breach of legal duty to take care if the person is having a legal duty to take care and if he commits a breach in such a duty and due to which any person sustain a damage even though that damage is undesired by the defendant to the plaintiff defendant will be held responsible that is the definition of negligence by winfield austin defines negligence thus in case of negligence a party performs not an act to which he is obliged he breaks a positive duty sometimes the person is having a duty to do a certain act but if he fails to do that particular act he may be held responsible for the tort of negligence if by that breach of duty any person sustained a loss 
if I am having a duty to do a certain act and if I fail to do that act due to which any person sustained a loss, I may be held responsible for the tort of negligence. For example, in the society, in the city, municipality is having a duty to maintain cleanliness. But if the municipality fails to maintain cleanliness due to which a certain person sustained a certain loss. Suppose if any disease is spread in the society due to non-maintenance of cleanliness on the part of the municipality. Now here the municipality's duty is to maintain cleanliness and they have not performed their duty due to which a certain person sustained a loss. Municipality will be held responsible for the tort of negligence as per the definition of Austin. Now we will move towards the essential of negligence. The first essential of negligence is a duty to take care. Until and unless the person is having a duty to take care, person will not be held responsible for the tort of negligence. Suppose if I am driving a car, I am having a duty to take care. I am manufacturing a certain product, I am having a duty to take care. Being a doctor, if I am performing an operation, I am having a duty to take care. If I am having a duty to take care, then only I will be held responsible. But the person who doesn't have any kind of duty to take care, he will not be held responsible for the tort of negligence. Here the duty towards the person must have a legal duty. In this particular essential, the duty means a legal duty only. The duty which is enforced by the law, the duty which is imposed by the law, that duty is having a concern for the tort of negligence. There should not be moral, social or religious duty on the part of the defendant. Okay, being a driver, if I am driving a vehicle, law imposes a duty on me to take care. If I am manufacturing any product, law imposes a duty to take care. If I am a doctor, I am performing an operation, law imposes a duty, that is a legal duty. If I breach such a legal duty, I will be held responsible for the tort of negligence. If the moral duty is there, Suppose if I am, my neighbor is suffering from starvation and if I fail to feed him, I will not be held responsible for the tort of negligence. I am not having a legal duty to feed my, serv my, my neighbor. It is only a moral duty. If there is a moral duty, there will be no tort of negligence. If the court wants to held liable me for the tort of negligence, I must have a legal duty then only I will be held responsible for the tort of negligence, otherwise not. So duty must be a legal duty. The defendant was careless. Mere a duty to take care is not sufficient to held liable any person for the tort of negligence. But the person must be careless while performing that particular duty. There is a one case law which explains the duty to take care of Shivar Devi versus Union of India in this particular case. When the passenger was on foot boat, the conductor rang the bell and the driver start a bus. While the passenger was on the foot boat, the driver trying to overtake another bus, the passenger who was on foot boat got squeezed between the two bus and some of them got injured. Suit has been filed against the Union of India because the, the driver and conductor was the employee of Union of India. Now the question is there, okay, whether the driver and conductor was having a duty to take care. Definitely, the court held liable to the defendant in this particular case and court says that driver and conductor was having a duty to take care and they have not taken a proper care due to which the plaintiff sustained a loss. That's why in this case, the defendant was held liable for the tort of negligence. Another case was, in this particular case, Mata Prasad versus Union of India. The employee of Union of India was, the duty of employee was to close the gate whenever the train is coming. Gatekeeper was there. The employee of Union of India was a gatekeeper. And in this particular case, the gatekeeper fails to close the gate and one lorry while trying to cross that particular railway track. And it was the misconception, it was, it was the belief of that particular lorry driver that the gate is open, that's why no train will come. And under that particular belief, he trying to cross the railway track. But he got 
dashed by the running train coming train and sustained a injury the suit has been filed against the union of india and in this case also the union of india was held liable for the tort of negligence because it was the duty of gatekeeper to close the gate whenever the train is coming but here he fails to close the gate he it means he commits a breach in his duty and due to that fact the plaintiff sustained a loss so here the defendant was held liable for the tort of negligence next case is donio versus stevenson in this case the defendant entered with his lady friend he ordered a ginger beer in the restaurant they consumed a certain part of the ginger beer and when they poured the remaining part of the ginger beer in the glass the decomposed body of isnel floated out and due to which there is there was a nervous shock felt by the lady friend of the defendant and the defendant filed a suit against the defendant and in this case also the defendant was held liable for the tort of negligence because the decomposed body of isnel left in the bottle itself shows that the defendant was duty was having a duty to take care as the decomposed body of isnel was found in the bottle the defendant fails to take care due to which the nervous shock was felt to the lady friend and court held liable to the defendant for the tort of negligence another case is that municipal board jonpur versus brahma kishore in this case municipality dug a pit and the same was left unguarded and unsafe no sign board of danger was fixed on that particular pit brahma kishore while coming on bicycle fell in that particular pit and sustained injury he filed a suit against the municipality and in this case municipality was held liable because it was the duty of municipality because municipality dig a pit and it was the duty to take care and the municipality has not fixed any kind of sign board of danger that's why municipality was held liable for the tort of negligence no liability when injury not foreseeable there is no liability upon the defendant if the harm is not foreseeable sometime the harm is not foreseeable which cannot be foreseen so under such a circumstances defendant will not be held liable for the tort of negligence in this particular case gates versus mangini bros in this particular case the lady visitor to the restaurant was injured by the falling of a ceiling fan the ceiling fan fall on the lazy lady visitor and she sustained a injury now the reason of falling of that particular fan was a latent defect in the suspension rod metal rod of the fan which is a latent one which cannot be foreseen and the reason was falling of that particular latent defect in this particular case the defendant would not have been discovered by a reasonable man that particular defect would not have been discovered by the defendant if that particular defect would have been discovered there may be a possibility that defendant will defendant would repair that particular defect but the defendant would not have been discovered and that is why the injury was not foreseeable in this case the defendant was not held liable for the tort of negligence because the injury was not foreseeable another case is ran versus yen in this particular case defendant servant while driving a lorry suddenly died which resulted in an accident and consequences injury to plaintiff in this particular case defendant servant while driving a lorry suddenly died and the accident took place and due to which the plaintiff sustained a injury the suit has been filed against the defendant for the tort of negligence but in this particular case the driver was quite healthy appeared quite healthy and defendant could not have foreseen his sudden death if the driver is healthy how it is possible to predict the death of that particular driver so injury is not foreseeable in this particular case that's why court not held liable to the defendant because the injury is not foreseeable second essential of tort of negligence is that breach of such a duty to take care only duty to take care is not sufficient to held liable any person for the tort of negligence until and unless that person commits a breach in such a duty to take care breach of such a duty means the defendant must not have taken a due care if that duty to take care is there 
and if the care is not taken by the defendant then only he will be liable for the tort of negligence otherwise not if the wrongdoer takes a reasonable care then there is no negligence on the part of the wrongdoer if the wrongdoer has taken a reasonable care there will be no liability when person will be held liable for the tort of negligence if he commits a breach in such a duty to take care if the care is not taken on the part of the defendant then only he will be liable for the tort of negligence otherwise not case glasgow corporation versus taylor in this particular case defendant grows a poisonous berry in his garden and a one family visited that particular garden and that particular berries looked like the cherries and which tempted to the children a one children under misconception that that particular poisonous berries was a cherry he ate that that particular berry and died the suit has been filed against the glasgow corporation defendant for the tort of negligence in this particular case also the court liable court held liable to the defendant for the tort of negligence because as the defendant grows a poisonous berry in his garden he was having a duty to take care and he has fixed no sign board regarding the poisonous nature of that particular berry hence he breached such a duty to take care and due to which the child dies and that is why the defendant was held liable for the tort of negligence another case is that latimer versus ac limited in this particular case due to the heavy rainfall the factory of the defendant flooded and when the water uh, was completely reduced and uh, removed from that particular factory but still the due to the existence of water that water mixed with the oil and it, the tiles of that factory become slippery so that was in the notice of defendant so defendant spread all the available dust over that particular oily patches but still some patches remains as shown in the third image and when the factory reopens a one employee while his uh, while he was working he slipped from that particular oily patch and he sustained an injury he filed a suit against the factory owner for the tort of negligence now here the question being a factory owner definitely he was having a duty to take care but my question is there whether the factory owner breach such a duty to take care in this particular case factory owner has already taken a reasonable care because he spread all the available dust on the oily patches but still there is some patches remains so in this particular case court held that a defendant has already taken a due care and that is why that is why the defendant is not liable for the tort of negligence the third essential for the tort of negligence is actual damage by the same time the plaintiff must have also taken a reasonable care for his own safety suppose i am having a duty to take care if i breach such a duty to take care but no damage caused to no person then i will not be held responsible for the tort of negligence suppose if i am driving a vehicle and if i if i cross the notice if i cross the sign board on that particular sign board there is a warning speed limit is 40 but if i drive and i cross that sign board with a speed of 80 it means if i am driving a car i am having a duty to take care over speed if i drive i breach i commits a breach in that particular duty but uh, no person has sustained a damage i will not be held responsible for the tort of negligence suppose if i if i manufacture a soft drink and being a manufacturer i am having a duty to take care suppose if a body of cockroach left in any bottle definitely i commits a breach in such a duty i commits a breach but that bottle left in my factory itself no person has consumed that bottle then i will not be held responsible for the tort of negligence because there is no actual damage so until and unless there is actual damage there will be a no liability of under a tort of negligence 
so these are the three essential the first one is the defendant must have a duty to take care second one is he must commit a breach in such a duty to take care and third one is due actual damage must cause to any person so these are the three essential of tort of negligence i hope you understand this topic if you understand this topic please subscribe my channel hit the notification button hit the like button and share this video with your friends thank you thank you very much